So hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kendra and you're watching KP Camp. the title today we'll be doing a story time and let's just take a moment of silence because i recorded two bangers but do i have any of that footage do i have one clip do i have one preview no so here we are trying to redeem ourselves let me know if y'all like this aesthetic because i'm really trying to up my quality or whatever <laughs> so yeah comment down below what y'all think if you're new to my channel go ahead and subscribe because I know you want to see more of me. And this story time is going to be juicy. <laughs> As you can see by the title today, I will be talking about my worst date. Okay, so let's just rewind, rewind, rewind. All the way back to 2017, y'all. 2017. This was my freshman year of college. And y'all, I was kind of like fresh out of a relationship. Not fresh, but I was out, just out. And um, me and this dude, we had kind of like clicked. I was feeling him or whatever, like literally as soon as we met. And I met him like at the beginning of my freshman year, fall semester. So this was spring semester. I came back single, okay? If y'all want me to do a story time on that, I will. I don't know why I've never recorded that. But you know, that's not even what we're here for. You know, he started to apply pressure. Okay, I guess it's because I had just got on my relationship. You know, people start to start wheeling in once you single, right? So he started to apply pressure and I was hesitant, okay? Because, you know, I'm, I'm fresh out of my situation and there were some things about him that I just didn't like. But I'm like, okay, he putting in the effort, let's see. So we have been kind of talking or hanging out now and again um, for maybe like two weeks three weeks something like that right so he was like i want to take you out on a date mind you the timing that he chose was probably the worst timing for him for him not for me for him y'all know i went to school in north carolina a t which is in greensboro north carolina and he said that he was gonna go back home which is like an hour away y'all guess what city okay y'all guess what city because i hate dudes from the city Ooh. Ooh, ooh, y'all guess the city an hour from Greensboro. Guess the city, and I might tell you if that if you're right or not. But yeah, he said he was gonna go home that Friday because you know people always go home for the weekend and stuff. So he said he was gonna go home that Friday and then he was gonna be back on Saturday. So I know y'all like, why does this matter, Kendra? Like, why does this have to do with the story? This is the key to the story right here. So he was like, Yeah, I'll be back on Saturday and I'll take you out Saturday night. So I'm like, okay, bet, cool. So y'all, I got dressed. I mean, I'm gonna try to find some old Snapchats or something cause I did Snapchat a little bit. I had on a nice outfit. I put on like a little bodysuit with the back out. I had my little pencil skirt on. And I, I put on some heels, child. I put on some heels and I put my little bomber on top. It was giving very much, you know, casual but elegant you know it was giving the vibes okay i put in effort because i thought i was about to be wine and dine i should have known because we in college freshman year what was my expectations why was they so high but i'm gonna say this he had a little bit of coin because he was working i think that's why he was commuting because he was working on the weekends or whatever. I'm pretty sure. So yeah, I was thinking like, okay, he wouldn't want to die on me. That's why, I'm, first off, that's why I'm used to, sweetie. If you finna take me out, spend some coin, but whatever. So the date was gonna be a movie and dinner, right? So I assumed we was gonna go to like, I think he said we were gonna go to Red Lobster. One of my favorite restaurants was going to go to Red Lobster. And then afterwards, we were going to go to a movie. And that's when Moonlight first came out. So I said, okay, I want to go see Moonlight. So he proceeds to pick me up from my dorm. You know, it's getting very much ghetto. I got to walk through the little lobby area looking all cute. People like, where you going? I'm like, girl, don't worry about it. So, you know, he picks me up in his whip. 
are y'all hearing me picks me up in his whip and you know, I'm turn, you know, he playing my the, some songs that I like. I'm turning the car. Turn, turn, turn. So we had already um, you know, picked what time we was gonna go to the movie. So instead of going to the dinner first, we um, end up going to the movie first. So I'm like, cool. We go to the movie, you know, he's paying for my ticket. I'm ready to see this bomb movie. It's lit. Then I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna give me some nice food after this too. Like it's giving, it's giving. You know, I look nice. I'm sorry, but it was giving. We get into the movie theater, and if you've ever seen Moonlight, you know how slow that movie is. Like, it's a good, I'm not gonna bash that movie, but it's a slow movie, okay? It's a slow movie. So, I'm like, you know, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to get into it. I'm not gonna lie. I was trying to get into it. And, you know, he was looking like, huh, I don't really care about this movie, but you know, I wanted to take you out, right? I wanted to take you out. So I'm like, okay, cool. Let me try to watch the movie. And mind y'all, when I see a movie, when I go to the movies and pay my money, I didn't pay my money, but when I go to a movie, I'm going to watch it because I paid to be in here to watch this movie that's not yet released so I can watch it at home. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm going to watch it to the end. So, I'm trying to, you know, get the best out of the movie. Like, okay, it's warming up. It's warming up. You know, it's getting to the good parts. It's getting to the good parts. So, I'm going to say this was like 30, 45 minutes in. Mind y'all, this was like an old movie theater. So, I guess a lot of people didn't really go there. So, it was literally like us and maybe like two other couples. That's it. The movie theater was pretty much empty. So we like 30, 45 minutes in. And this man starts to fall asleep. So you know, in retrospect, you would think like, oh, Kendra, like he's just tired because he's been driving. He's been driving. He's tired. This, this, that. That's cool. It's okay for him to sleep. It's okay. He took you out. He paid for your ticket. You're good. See, that that <laughs> that would have been okay if he just would have closed his eyes and i would have watched the movie and i would have enjoyed myself but no this man starts to snore this man starts to snore and i don't mean like a little you know when you breathing hard no it was giving <sighs> A lot of people will be scared here. A lot of people will be scared. I don't even know how I made that noise. <laughs> no, but it was given. He was calling the cows. He was calling the cows. And y'all know Moonlight is slow, but it's not an action movie. So, like, it's moments in that movie where it's dead silence. And this man was snoring. So, I'm trying to, like, shove him. Like, my guy, get up. Get up. You're snoring loud. The people are probably looking like get your mans so then like i think he suggested that we should leave but like i told y'all i came to see this movie so i'm going to watch it so i think he went he went from snoring and not snoring maybe like three four five times until the movie ended and i was very much embarrassed i was very much embarrassed i thank the lord that that was not a packed theater because then i would have had to just force myself to leave because it just would have been too much but the fact that it was just a couple people i kind of held out i did the little shove 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 you know so it wouldn't be as embarrassing but it was definitely embarrassing i mean he should have been embarrassed okay so the movie over I personally didn't really care for the movie. Please don't drag me. I know it's a deeper meaning with the movie, but I'm sorry. It was just slow. I know why he was asleep, man. I know why he was asleep. So we leave and you know, I'm ready for my red lobster. My red lobster that I was promised. No. So then he's like, I'm just so tired. Like we should just grab some fast food and go. Fast food? I have on heels. And you talking about going through a drive-thru. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why did we end up in this steak and shake line? And I have on a whole... He did dress up too, y'all. He did too. And I'm like... 
what? Where is my red lobster? Where is my red lobster? So I'm trying to like, I'm y'all, at this point, I, I'm ready to go too because this is not what I signed up for. This is not what I signed up for. So, you know, I didn't chew, I should have chewed him out. I should have been like, you were snoring so loud and this was just terrible. I didn't have a good time, this, 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 this. But no, I was like, because I assumed he was going to go take me to eat. That would have redeemed him. That would have redeemed him. But he didn't. He took me to some raggedy steak and shake and I got heels on. Come on. So he proceeds to take me home, right? So this is this is not even a date, but this made my night even worse. So you know, I'm like, no 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 no. Let's wheel back before we went back to the dorm. We're in the steak and shake parking lot and I'm trying to make it do what it do. I'm like my guy can you take my pictures could you just take my pictures you didn't do nothing else for me maybe you spent a little coin but come on now you didn't do nothing for me tonight can you please just take my pictures because i dressed up nobody's seen it i didn't get to sit in a nice restaurant for them to see it like <sighs> take my pictures in front of this like post and i'm gonna finesse it and act like i went somewhere important this man is like nah i'm tired I'm aware. <laughs> like, I know. But just do something for me. So then I get back to my dorm, y'all. And I'm like, I call up my ex-friend. She ain't my friend no more. But she was my friend at the time. And I'm like, hey, like, girl, I just came back from my date. You know, you think you can flick me up real quick? She won't sleep now. Nah. She might have been in the bed, but she won't sleep. And I'm like, hey, could you flick me up? I'm going to see if I can find the photo. She takes the worst photos. The, like, it's like one of them jumps where you like, oh, I just did you real good. And then you hit a little, ch -ch 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 -ch. I'm done. Good night. Oh, so I tried to take some selfies myself. Oh my gosh, y'all. It was giving desperate. It was giving, you wasted my time. Yeah. That was one of my worst experience, y'all. Let me comment down below if y'all ever been on a bad date because this wasn't it. Luckily, it wasn't a bad date because I didn't know the dude because I did know him beforehand. So it wasn't a case of like, I didn't like the dude. But this was just nothing that I expected. Nothing that I wanted. Nothing. Because the mo if the movie was good, maybe I would have. Uh, it was no giving. But... That's the end of the story, y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed making it. Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. But I will see you guys in the next one. Do sis. Let me know if you like it. Hold on, we got that. We got that. Okay, so. Y'all, it's literally 12 12 in the morning. And I'm recording this video because I want to put content out for y'all. Hmm. And that's just good on that. Okay. Boy, if you don't 